What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. Soma versus Solki is on the menu for today, but with a twist. Solki is spawning here in the top left hand corner playing Protoss. Versus Soma, of course, on his main Zerg down here in the bottom right. Soma hiding on a barcode. And Solki, he is playing on his main account need money but we can all feel that in these difficult times these hard times it's it's tough out there boys i know things are probably going to get worse before they get better we're all going to need money soon or at least most of us but sulky especially he needs money that's why it's in his name and i wonder if soul if Solki's just playing around on the ladder, he's just having fun. Playing Protoss, or is he playing random? That would be fun, wouldn't it? If we saw a Solki random run. I feel like if you get three ASL victories in a row, you almost have uh, an obligation to do a random run at this point. Flash set the standard. He won the ASL more than anybody and he started the the random run trend we'll see if Solki ever tries for it or maybe he wants to you know keep his streak going as long as he can playing as Zerg well either way Solki if he's able to beat Soma in PvZ. I guess that means that he'd be ready to go for a random run, right? This is the hardest matchup in the entire game, according to Protoss players. Am I wrong on that? You guys are such a joke. Come on. This is not the hardest matchup. Protoss players always like to complain about this. Imagine thinking that ZVP or PVZ is harder than TVP. What an absolute crock. We've got Solki coming down to set up a Nexus here in the natural. And he has a Zealot wandering around the outside. Gonna avoid the Lings that are coming across the map. We might be able to sneak into this natural. Look at this, the lings arrive, but it's all drones in the production tab, so... The zealot's gonna get up in here with the probe helping. Could deal some serious damage. Two zealots are out. Doesn't have one on the high ground, doesn't have one on the, the ramp there. It's actually pushing out with those, and let's see what kind of... Harassment damage Soul King can get. I think he's done a good job so far. Preventing any damage coming out of Soma and also forcing quite a bit of attention on these uh, Zealots and finally that does go down. Doesn't get any drone kills but forced out a lot of Lings and he hasn't put down a Forge yet. He got the gas before Forge and also before the Cybernetic Core. That Cyber Core should be coming down any moment. The forge goes down in the wall. I'm surprised to see him not put the cybernetics core in the wall. I feel like that can be a good play in this type of situation. He's keeping the probe alive though. And continuing to scout. We didn't see a lair on the way in the main base. So that's giving Sulky quite a bit of information. Just knowing that there's no lair is very important stuff. Metabonk boost is coming. And we should be having a Hydroden soon. I'm a little bit confused why he's still mining gas. We don't have a Hydroden or anything like that. The, the continued mining on the gas really doesn't make sense to me at the moment. Not going to be building anything as he is supply blocked. We'll be able to start a bunch of drones in a moment. Five drones in production. It's a pretty savage supply block there. 
pretty annoying for Soma to deal with right now. And Solki just going to sit back at home, get his Corsair out so that he can scout and figure out what's the follow-up from Soma. But he should know pretty well without a doubt what the plans are for Soma. It's got to be Hydra's. And it's not going to be super fast. He does get a second cannon at the front, but he almost doesn't need it. I don't think he was able to scout the main for some time, so he wasn't sure if there was no Hydrogen or not. So a bit of a safety cannon. Not the biggest deal in the world. Going to let that finish. And he will have the Corsair out to scout in just a moment's time. Hydras are in production. Only one Overlord is kind of out on the map a little bit lost and probably will fall to this Corsair if he can find it that is an if Sulky is pretty good and so he should be able to find this overlord uh, coming up pretty soon two more hydras on the way gonna have three in the natural just to make sure that this doesn't do any damage at all Continuing to produce overlords at the natural while droning very heavily. And so it's an absolute bare minimum of hydras for the defense. Lings at the wall, making sure that the zealots don't move out. And full drone production behind this, going up to 35 very quickly. Should be getting the second gas in a moment because he needs it for all of these upgrades that he's going to be grabbing, getting speed on the overlords he's getting range he will start plus one as well and so gas is going to be a hot commodity for the moment zealots are starting to move out i'm a little bit worried doesn't have too many hydras at the, uh, just now so these eight zealots are a problem you'll have to have perfect sim city and you'll have to bring the lings back to tank for these Hydras are moving over towards this third base. He wants to bring them all together to hit at the same time and fight these zealots uh, when he has the advantage. Plus one is about to finish. Speed is about to finish as well. Only a couple more seconds left on this. He gets a little damage on the back zealot, but the speed upgrade is just about done. There it is. He hits the jet boosters. He hits the NOS and immediately jets in the other direction keeping all of his zealots alive there's still a big threat on the map his corsairs are gonna poke in look for an overlord kill if they can find it only one kill on this corsair i imagine that was the overlord that we saw earlier he was able to find it hasn't been able to find any damage in this third or natural though and soma's done a great job getting out some hydras now it's time for further drone production and a sixth hatchery those are the keys that Soma wants to put in his pocket. Third gas is coming up. Zealots are moving towards the natural. Hasn't taken this engagement just yet. Being kind of conservative with the Zealots. Doesn't want to throw them away willy-nilly. Still looking for damage with the Corsairs, but not able to find any. And Overlord's speed is now done. So it's going to be even harder to find any damage with these Corsairs. A few Hydras are going to come across the map. But Templar are done. Storm should be finished as well. More gateways being added in the main one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. I'm going to try to move out with Zealots and Templar. I don't think that uh, Soma sees this. No, he's not going to see this at all. He won't see it until it's right about here. And that could be a very big problem. Ooh, a run by into the main would be so nasty. Hydra does get in between these two buildings to block for a moment. But Zealots are already up on the high ground. If he just stands on this high ground and blocks the Hydras from coming up, this could be a very quick win for Solki. He knows it. He's just going to engage with the Zealots as soon as the Hydras try to come up the ramp. Make it so that most of them are getting clumped at the bottom. Now bringing forward the Templar. 
Anything that comes up this ramp is gonna get stormed to death. Great storm there, but not close enough to the ramp to get the, the perfect storm that could kill all the drones as they're retreating. Instead, he storms a lot of these Hydras and builds an Archon. He's got one more storm in about three more seconds. The Zealot's still dealing a lot of damage. One more storm on that low ground, killing off a few more Hydras. He did not target the hatchery. The main hatchery in the middle. So, looks like he won't get that kill. But he has disrupted Soma thoroughly. Thoroughly disrupted him and slowed him down by quite a lot. And so... This, these next few attacks could be deadly. He's going to go after the Hydralis then as the Lurker Eggs are blocking his way into the main base. Hydra Den goes down. This can quickly spiral out of control. This is at least going to allow Soul Key to take another base. 100%. You cannot both stabilize and build up like a high, big Hydra's army. There's just no way to build a big Hydra's army to counterattack right now. Oh, he's going after this hatchery over at the third. Just a couple of zealots run in and kill that off. So annoying for Soma. It means he's gonna have to find a, an opportunity to build the hatchery that, you know, takes a lot of APM. You have to make the drones mine off of other patches. It's gonna keep getting blocked. It's super frustrating. Gonna try for it again in a moment, but yeah, you can see he's missing part of his production facilities, right? He doesn't have this extra hatchery, so he's not on six hatch Hydra. He just finished his Hydralis Den. He did make up to 55 drones while the Hydra Den was building. So luckily he had pumped out enough stuff to drive back Sulky during that moment of chaos however oh god he's gonna move these dragoons at the last second zealots are gonna make their way up here hydras are gonna try and breach this but they really don't have much of a chance of getting up onto the high ground with the cannons about to finish and zealots standing up there it's not really a possibility so so i'm gonna take a base in the top right he's gonna have to take this to a long game no real choice about it i'm gonna sacrifice one overlord but His opportunities, his options are kind of running out. He really doesn't have a lot of things to do at this point. Uh, aside from just tur turtle up this area, turtle up his high ground and try to get top right online. Uh, it'll be up to Solki to either break this and win the game or hold this and win the game in a very long drawn out macro battle uh, if he can hold half the map it is of course a win for protoss so we'll see if he decides to go that route or if he's more interested in just bum rushing top right he could also break through the natural of course he could break through here any of these are fine i love the queen's nest at the front you know the queen's nest is a great sacrificial building it's a great blocking building because targeting it down means nothing if you already have the hive on the way. And, you know, oftentimes we see an evo chamber built at the front to help with blocks like this. Uh, in ZVT, we often see the queen's nest thrown out in the front, in front of sunken colonies, for instance, to, to try and buy time. But rarely do you ever see it built on a high ground like this, like as part of a wall to make it more difficult to break a position. And I, I like to see it so Soma with some creativity, just light little bits of uh, creativity and change that could make a big difference in a game like this. Now, Dragoons are going to start pushing up on the high ground. He's not going to have too much trouble breaking this if Soma's not able to reinforce it soon. He doesn't have Hive done yet, so he's m throwing down masses of sunken colonies on the high ground to buy time for a potential Nidus to eventually come up. Hydras are going to be sent forth. Trying to reinforce this position. Lurkers find their place underground just outside of this natural, but they're not going to be enough to hold back to stem the tide of Protoss coming towards this top right. There's a lot of Dragoons pushing up onto the high ground. More Sunkins are coming. 
but it's gonna be tough it is gonna be tough to hold this i like the the amount of sunkens that he's made he knows that he he just has to hold on to this no matter what if this is broken he loses this game so might as well dump a huge amount of his money into holding that it'll give him a little bit of leeway to you know not send his all of his forces up to counter this like if if you don't have all of these sunkens on the high ground sulky is just gonna run straight up that ramp and you'll have to send all your army behind to try and flank and if he gets up on the high ground everything will just die to storm so preventing this from getting up on the high ground will save you units and army in the long term Soma a little bit weak in the natural not a whole lot two lurkers are burrowed another four are going to get underground before the attack takes place so I think he can hold with three sunkens and this many lurkers it should be okay for Soma but at the same time Solki is taking more bases he's taking center left he's likely to take bottom left soon and there's not really a good way for Soma to come out and deny something like that. He's got Nidus, a Nidus Canal up into that top right. He's got triple upgrades coming. He has a Defiler Tech rolling. But there's nothing stopping Solki from taking bottom left. Absolutely nothing. And in fact, he's trying to push down into bottom center. He's losing a lot of Zealots for this trade. Which I'm not a big fan of, but he really wants to trade out some storms and some of these dragoons for some damage before uh, they become kind of obsolete once the uh, defiler is out. You can't really do too much with all of these dragoons at that point. So I like him kind of skirmishing, trying to get something done. Lings will make their way down to the bottom left. They did a loop-de-loop. -loop. They went above the army and came down into this bottom left to shut down the expanding attempts of Sulky. That is a very good move. Uh, getting Lings out on the map like this. Like I was saying earlier, there was nothing stopping Sulky from taking a base down in the bottom left until those Lings got out on the map and... Now Sulky is going to have to commit quite a few forces to get that base online, but eventually he will make it happen. He will get cannons on this high ground. He will be able to get this Nexus soon. However, Soma's bought a little bit of time. He's going to expand again on this low ground. This is another great opportunity, though, for Sulky to put on the hurt. As long as he gets cannons and maybe a Templar on that high ground, he shouldn't be broken by a counterattack. Meanwhile, Soma setting up a big spread of lurkers in the middle of this map. Sulky with the much better army is going to start to shove through, but he's starting to trade worse and worse, especially with the Dark Swarm. You can't really push through this. And the supply is really evening out which is never great for the Protoss player. The only good thing that I'm seeing for Sulky is the bottom left and these Reavers that are gonna be coming out soon. There goes a Defiler, not sure where he was headed. But Lurkers make their way down to the bottom. Nice egg block wall there. He should be able to cancel that and get up onto that high ground in just another moment drop gonna head around the top side looks like Solki will lose this base a little bit unfortunate he didn't build cannons there immediately it's not a very difficult thing to do to just throw down five cannons while you're a little bit idle it's quite a few drones not sure how many kills are on that Archon but I would say quite a Quite a bit of kills. No matter which way you look at it. Looking for some kills here. Not going to get much. Only one drone goes down. 
Meanwhile, trying to push up on this high ground. You're not going to make much progress when Reavers are available. But a Plague is very nice, and it does a lot of damage. Getting rid of the health off of this Reaver and allowing the Lurker to bust through. One Reaver still on that high ground, though. Probably won't be able to get in here just yet. Instead, so I'm gonna change or turn his attention to maybe the center left base. Center left base is doable. There's not any high Templar on the high ground. Whoa! Soma's coming from a wide angle, catching this Protoss army on rotation over towards the center left. Gonna kill some of these Templar. One more storm. He could throw it out, but it looks like he won't. The army getting itself together now. But it's looking small in comparison to what Soma's been able to put out. You can see Solki is struggling at this point to keep an army on the field. This is the point in the game where you'd like to, as Soma, or as Solki, as the Protoss, have a base down here with some reavers and cannons. If he had just built cannons on that high ground, the small number of lurkers and hydras that came over to break that position wouldn't have done much of anything. And he would still have this base, probably with probes at it, and maybe with reavers by now. Instead, he's got a naked nexus bottom left with nothing, nothing defending it. Only a, just a handful of lings could kill this. Easily, in fact. Instead, he's upgrading Scarab damage and roaming the map looking for a fight. I, I'm just not... I'm not understanding this, what we're seeing out of Soul Key. I think this is maybe his inexperience with the matchup. He's not really sure what to do, uh, aside from maybe an attack into the center right. Try to shut down another base. He is going to get up on top of high ground and... Could take a pretty decent trade with these Reavers. Gotta pick up, though. A little bit careful with those. Okay. Looks like he will kill center right, but losing bottom left is a bigger deal. In my opinion. He's still staying just one base behind. Where Soma is at. He's flying two Reavers into this base. He's going to drop behind the mineral patches. The shuttle does go down. Come on, get some shots over this. Okay. Oof. That is nasty. A lot of drone kills are going down on these two Reavers. Oh my gosh. So many kills. Is someone just not recognizing this? It seems like he didn't notice. And he finally now notices, but the damage has been done. That is so much, so much damage on these two Reavers. It's funny that they're not able to shoot over. But this could be the final engagement here. Soul Key diving in on top of a bunch of these Lurkers. He's just going to bum rush this, going after it, killing off all the Lurkers and pushing into this top left natural. Good God, those storms killing off an insane number of drones. This one as well, going to absolutely massacre a lot of these drones. Some army coming up from behind but there's still a lot of storms left coming down the ramp is not great either it appears that someone may be able to clear this but sulky's done so much damage she's killed an incredible amount of drones and he's slowed soma to almost no pace at all he's got 40 supply advantage and another army is coming up. Two more Reavers in this shuttle. He might be able to hit that and take it out, but does it really matter? This is a ton of Zealots making their way uh, forward. I don't think he can break this. That's too many Sunkins. Well, he could with Reavers, but it's a little bit hard shooting up a ramp without getting in range of a Sunken. It's not like the Reaver outranges the Sunken by a lot. It's, it's a very small amount. And now we're going to have Soma try for a counterattack. He's going to go ahead and hit center left. That would leave only one base mining remaining uh, for Solki. This is getting kind of intense now. 
uh, as the bases start to run dry. Another drop with another two Reavers coming over to this base, but they don't have a lot of HP. Only two HP on these Reavers. One HP on the shuttle. Gonna go after those Reavers. He's about to kill that one off, but he's not targeting, and so the Hydra will go down. These two Templar may end up falling. The uh, all-important Nexus falls, and so one base mining. Meanwhile, the base in the center right gets taken out again. Who is going to win this game? Guys, it's getting so close. It's very hard to call. Storms are going to be so important in a situation like this. The Reavers are as good as gold. He's about to finish off his third armor upgrade. I almost say cancel that and just get the money. We need money right now. We don't need upgrades. Uh, that upgrade is probably not going to mean the difference between a win and a loss in this uh, situation, but I could be wrong. I'm going to run up on this high ground, try to kill the Reaver. Get it, 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 get the Reaver, get the Reaver. There we go. He gets it. Well played there, getting that Reaver. Two Templar in a shuttle heading towards top right. This is the last mining that Soma really has. He, I don't see any Scourge. All I see is one single Lurker over on this side trying to kill as many probes as possible. Oh my God, that's so many probes. That's so many probes, but look at the drones getting absolutely wrecked as they try to flee from this base. GG. Oh no, GG is called Soma taps out. It's so incredibly close, guys, but I guess he was going to lose this one. It, I mean, I almost want to see it to see him stick this one out. Of course, the Nexus gets back up. This is almost out of money. Ah, it's it's so hard to say, guys. If you build a ton of Scourge, like he can afford to build a lot of Scourge with 1,600 gas in the bank. I'm shocked that he didn't have Scourge over here to prevent a drop like this. If he just prevents this drop, he can eventually get enough Lurkers. With all that gas, you can get enough Lurkers to, to hold this area and get another base up. Ah, it's really tough to say, guys. 44 supply is a scary low amount as a Zerg player. Oof. Yeah, the the Lurker over here, how many kills did it have? 10. 10 kills. See, only 29 probes remain. Maybe if he had killed all the probes as they were returning, there might have been a good chance. We never saw the... A follow-up attack into this base after we got that great plague and see all of these photon cannons are uh, extremely damaged only two HP left on them they are just moments away from death so one uh, dark swarm and a couple lings kills everything but yeah he wasn't able to finish that hatchery the zealots were capable of denying that ton of zealots over here most of them plagued these are fresh i don't think they would have been able to break up onto the high ground per se and deal with these sunken colonies but i don't see i i, I don't know if soma could have gotten another base ah it's so tough to call guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below whether you think soma should have played this one out did you think that he was completely dead you agree with the decision uh, let me know i i'm personally on the fence games like this are are so rough and uh there it is guys soul key takes down soma he's ready i think he's ready for the big time he beat soma the most difficult matchup pvz he's ready for the big time time to go for the random play SSL season two next uh next spring. I want to see this guy try some random. <laughs> Let me know if you if you agree. If you want to see Sulky, give that a shot. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next one.